Hey guys, how you doing? I want to do a quick video. We have some more good news. Um, I received this email from a mother uh, about her daughter that has been watching our debates in the chat room. Now, if you would like to see these live debates, you go right here to shockonnow.net and then you're going to click um, right here where it says chat now and then it'll bring you in the chat room. Now, what's interesting about these debates is you never know what is going to happen and I've debated not one, not ten, not twenty, not thirty, not forty, but so far as of this date forty-nine debates in a row and um, every single debate out of forty-nine debates the Christian theist side has won the debate. The Christian theist side has presented more plausible arguments than atheism. Now of course, I do have atheists that go in there and, and uh, they think teapots and Santa Claus and lep leprechauns prove atheism is true, but this is just not the case. Um, and I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to read you a, a uh, email that I received from a lady, and um, I think you'll enjoy it, but a lot of people say, Shock, why do you do the debate? You're not going to convince the person you're debating, and, and I know that. I'm on, under no delusions of grandeur. Although we have convinced a few, actually, <laughs> and they've already left atheism and become Christians. But it is true, the majority of atheists, they're not going to change their mind right there in the debate and become a Christian, although some have. But these debates are done for the purpose of people that are searching for truth, and it's wonderful where they can rationally look at both sides, they can look at the fiction of atheism versus the nonfiction of Christian theism. And when they compare the two, they do see that Christian theism is much more plausible, more rational. So I want to read something to you. Let's go to my email box. Now, I don't read the emails that you guys send me on video unless you give me permission. So I asked uh, this person if I could. Now, <clears throat> this is Karen that has written this to me. And she says, um, she basically says, you saved my daughter. And then, of course, you know, all glory to God, but she meant, well, I'll read it to you and you'll see what she said. She says, God bless you, shock of God. I don't know where to start. My daughter, Mackenzie, was a very sweet and caring Christian girl until a few atheist girls from school befriended her. They brainwashed her into believing the madness of atheism, as you say. So true. And she started being extremely disrespectful and rebellious, as atheists do. She broke my heart. I took her to church every Sunday and youth service every Wednesday for almost two years, but she got progressively worse and worse. Well, long story short, she and I started watching her videos and debates in your chat room, and she finally saw the light, and she's referring to this chat room right here. The one right here where the chat now button's at, the one I was just telling you. It's really neat. You can see the debates live. So let's go back and finish reading her email. So she says, um, where were we at, guys? Because um, everyone, I want to read this to you because everyone always says, well, you know, I don't really see it's going to help. But it actually does. I get emails like this all the time. I wouldn't be spending so much time doing something a certain way if it was not effective. And it is very effective. A simple search on YouTube, you can clearly see that the atheists uh, know that we are a force to be reckoned with and um, and it's great you know I, I love the atheists I want them to be saved but we clearly are a force to be reckoned with here on YouTube uh, we do have very good plausible arguments proving that atheism is is fiction so she says back to this she says well long story short she and I started watching your videos and debates in your chat room and she finally saw the light your views on evolution the cosmological argument and the finely tuned universe especially helped her and she read the entire Bible in a week. She probably read the uh, the entire New Testament. We, I, absolutely can, I absolutely cannot say how thankful I am that you saved our relationship and most importantly her eternal soul. And of course you know uh, she is means of Jesus Christ. Now what happened is I was getting e uh, comments from this woman on my channel because I have friend lock on so people can't email me unless they send me a friend invite but she she didn't have a YouTube channel 
uh, the mom. So the mom set up a YouTube channel and she says, I made this account just to thank you. You have so many views. I think she mean, means viewers because she says, I wish you would make a video towards Christian mothers and fathers with atheist children telling them not to give up. Their child's eternal soul is on the line. I know you love making videos of another atheist turned Christian, and I think this is truly a miracle that all Christian parents of atheist children could find inspiration in. If you do not get any support from others, please know that you have directly saved at least one soul, and that is worth it. Please keep doing what you're going. You are really amazing. I thank you more than I can explain. Now, if you guys look below this video, I'm going to cut and paste what she sent to me okay and I have no doubt uh, you know that to doubt that it's that it's a real person it doesn't seem like it's someone fooling around now you notice what she says here though which is really good she says your views on evolution and this is something I had a guy come in today and he he was like well evolution proves the Bible is wrong which is totally not true and I asked him because most people don't even understand evolution. They haven't studied it, you know. And I said, look, I don't want to, you know, embarrass you or anything, and, but do you know the difference between micro and macro evolution? And he said no. I asked him if he's ever read the Bible all the way through, and he said no. So I was very polite to him and nice. But see, this is why I think as Christians uh, we need to learn about things like evolution because... To the atheist, evolution is the only game they can play. If they don't have that, they have nothing. They have to rely on the false teachings of evolution. And there's lots of false teachings in evolution. Do you know it hasn't even been proved by science? There's lots of parts of evolution, especially macroevolution, that are clearly faith-based. So I want to show you a website. L write this down. First of all, this site is absolutely awesome. And what I like about it is they understand uh, how threatening to rational common sense atheism is. And they understand how evil atheism is and how incorrect atheism is. So you can click right here where it says atheism or creation versus evolution. But look at the site up here on the left. It's creation.com. And I strongly suggest, this is what I'm sending you a lot of people, and a lot of people are realizing evolution's got a lot of uh, errors in it. Do you know every single evolutionist I've debated has admitted that evolution has lots of errors in it? They admit it. Click right here where it says Question Evolution Campaign, and there's also audio things. There's free iPhone app, too, uh, that you could also get. Now... Another site you should check out, especially if you're an atheist, is my testimony at creation.com forward slash atheism. So let me show you that. What I have found is a lot of atheists don't understand what the definition of atheism is. So you want to read this. And we, there's a little surprise for if you go down here and this box right here and you click this, this is a video of me talking about how I left the lie of atheism. It's my testimony. So you definitely want to watch that. Now, before um, we go, I want to show you some free things you can get also. When you go to shockonnow.net, right here, I want you to click um, free stuff right here at the top. And if you want your own little chat room, click own a chat room right here. But if you click free stuff, that's good, and then own a chat room. But this part's really awesome right here. Uh, this is really good. You could download all my radio shows or listen to them on iTunes now. We're now on iTunes. So they put us on iTunes. If you go to Shock Radio right here, see the link right here where it says Shock Radio? When you click it, I want to show you something, and <laughs> we're, we're very pleased about it. Watch this. If you go to uh, Shock Radio, and you, this is blogtalkradio.com, and you click atheism watch this in the search slot watch what happens you see this right here this helmet that's my radio show so we've made the top the front page of blog talk radio as one of the most popular uh, shows out there 
maybe one day the thinking atheist will get up enough courage to debate me. Um, I hope he comes into my chat room at shockonl.net. You guys should call the thinking atheist and tell him to come into my chat room and debate me. Um, we've still been waiting for that to happen. Uh, uh, maybe he's out looking for uh, Santa Claus or Leprechaun. <laughs> so, but anyways, uh, if when you go there, don't forget to call into the Thinking Atheist show and tell him to uh, come debate me. I'm still waiting. Also, the Amazing Atheist won't debate me. Thunderfoot won't debate me. Um, Z Jimp TV won't debate me. Bionic Dance won't debate me. But we've had other people debate, but um, evidently they're not that confident in the fictional worldview of atheism. But definitely listen to this show. Now watch this. When you go here, let's click it. Goes to my show. I did an April 1st show because that's the National Atheist Day. That's the holiday for atheism. I did an Easter show, a Christmas show. Um, we did an evolution versus creation debate. It's awesome. You guys will like it. Um, I had Ray Comfort actually come on the show. And you can listen to that. Uh, the world famous Ray Comfort. We have lots of famous people on there. So let's end this with the Bible story. And I want to read this to you. This is this is from Second uh, John 1. And this is really for the Christians out there. And this is so important. Just remember Second John 1. See what it's... I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but up here... I don't know if this is showing on your screen, but let me read it to you. <clears throat> I'm just going to read uh, part of it because it's really long. I'm going to read towards the middle here. Look what it says. He says, For many deceivers are entered into this world who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. You notice that. Now, he says, look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. You see what it says? Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. Now it gets into some serious things. And I think as Christians, we need to, we need, in my opinion, to quit worrying so much about political correctness and worry about uh, spiritual correctness. Notice what they say here. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, nor bid him, neither bid him Godspeed. Do you see that? If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him Godspeed. In other words, we're not to partake of, with the person that is rejecting Jesus Christ and denying Jesus Christ and, you know, bashing Jesus Christ. Notice he says, For he that biddeth him Godspeed is a partaker of his evil deeds. And I'm, I'm just saying, you know, as I see... Um, a lot of people that say they're Christians, but I think they're letting political correctness uh, become a cancer in their spiritual walk with the Lord, and they're even starting to partake uh, with people that, with their, with the other person's beliefs. I even get that too, where some people say, well, Jesus said to respect all religions. <laughs> he did not say that. We respect the person, but we don't respect all religions. I'm not going to respect atheism, which is now a religion the uh, U.S. courts have ruled it as so. I'm not going to respect paganism, Wicca, witchcraft, or voodoo, or Satanism. I mean, come on. That's, that'd be sinful. Now, remember what he says. For he that biddeth him Godspeed is a partaker of his evil deeds. doesn't say to be mean to them, but you don't support them. You don't bid them Godspeed. Otherwise, we are guilty of being a partaker of their evil deeds. So, God bless you guys. Don't forget to go here. This is awesome. Creation.com. You want to see my testimony on video? Creation.com forward slash atheism. And then, of course, yes, another person has walked away from atheism. So, this is good news. Have a great week, guys. God bless you. I love you. And don't forget to um, 
Go here, shotgunnow.net, and get all your free goodies. Have a great week.